LLM technology is breaking the limits on what you can build. You can now create software that not only makes decisions for you, it can create arbitrary content on your behalf. In this video, I wanna give you key engineering principles and techniques to help you build incredible multi-agent systems that solve problems on your behalf. There's one principle in particular that, once you know it, will unlock a new world of rapid engineering and productivity gains for you. Senior engineers know this principle intuitively through experience. And not only am I going to share this principle with you to help you architect, design, code, and ship your work faster, I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like in practice to give you a practical reference and guide on how to use this principle in this video. So what is this incredible engineering principle that senior plus engineers just kind of know by heart? It's simple. Everything is a function. So what does that mean? What are the implications? How does this help you ship code faster? How does it help you build useful AI agents? How does this principle help you build great apps and tools in less time? We'll dig into that in just a moment, but first let's describe what we're going to build in this series. That's right, we're going to start a simple multi-agent application in a classic beginning, middle, end three-part series. We're gonna talk about principles, we're gonna build a proof of concept, and then we're going to have a production ready version. And let's get into what exactly we're going to be building. I've been kicking this down the road for a long time, waiting for all the pieces to come together so I can share with you to accelerate your engineering while getting some concrete value out of this tool myself. We're going to build a multi-agent YouTube automation metadata generator. The great part about building this on the channel and sharing it with you is that you can use these principles, architecture, and design philosophy for building any type of agentic content generation application. If you've created YouTube content, written blogs, created documentation, you know, written peer review descriptions, anything like that, you know that this can be a really manual, laborious process. We're going to start from beginning to end and automate the entire flow of this central manual process. So after you have your video rendered, you go through this long process of SEO research, brainstorming ideas, generating titles, generating your thumbnail, iterating on your thumbnail, improving your description, collecting the resources, putting your hashtags together, all to you know formalize that into a final review so that you can upload your video. This is really applicable to any process where you have a core asset that's been generated. Think about you know code, think about a PR, think about a blog, think about an announcement post, anything like that where you have a core asset and then you have surrounding metadata that takes a decent chunk of time but is mission critical to shipping your core asset. So we're gonna take this entire process and build a multi-agent system that automates the entire process for us. So all we have is our rendered video. We'll then build out a simple CLI application, at least to start, then we can build it into a UI that'll take that rendered video, it'll generate all the metadata that we need, and then it'll create just a few files that we can quickly upload and have the process fully automated, removing all of these center steps for us. So let's talk about principles to help us build multi-agent applications like this. In video two and three of this series, we're gonna dive deeper into the details of how exactly we'll do each one of these steps. In this video, I wanna set up some of the core principles you can use to build software in general, but more specifically, agentic software, software that's fueled by LLMs, software that utilizes multi-agent systems that are being built right now with the new incredible LLM technology at your disposal. So let's take a look at three key engineering principles we can apply, including including this interesting idea of everything is a function that we can apply to building multi-agent applications. Looking at this YouTube automation tool as an example we can work through. So principle one, use the right tool for the job. In this case, use the right agent for the job, right? So let's talk about this a little bit. Identify the problem you're trying to solve, break your problem into tiny problems. In the example of our metadata generator, we have this whole top level problem of create YouTube metadata, right? And so there are actually several steps in there, right? We have the generation of the title, the thumbnail, the description, right? Break those down into tiny steps. Whatever your big level process is, whatever your big problem is, it's not a big problem. It's three or four or five small ones. This makes it a lot more digestible. Then decide if you need an agent, if you need to code, or if you need manual input to make this happen. And when you're building these out, always start from the top to the bottom. If you can use an agent to do it, use an agent. If you need to code, write the code. If you need manual input, okay, then do it manually. You wanna be automating as much as you can. So this brings up a really important question that I think a lot of us are still working through. How do you know which one to choose? How do you know when you can use an LLM to solve a problem in front of you? 
So when to use an AI agent? This is kind of reformulating the question, use the best tool for the job in a different way, right? When do you use this tool? When do we use this incredible tool that we've been given, this LLM technology? So a framework I've been using that I think will be really helpful for you is follow CRUD in order. This is something that I've been utilizing in Talk to Your Database, a text to SQL to results application that just went live this past week. Really excited about that. I'm gonna leave that in the description. If you're interested in writing less SQL and getting more results out of your database, that's gonna be in the description for you. This principle of following CRUD in order. So what do I mean by that? You want your agents to be doing these things over these things. So you want them to be creating and reading over updating and deleting. Let's dig into this a little more. Agents are great at creating and reading reading data, at creating and reading information. Agents are not great at updating and deleting data. It's a lot riskier. There's a lot more complexity in updating something. It requires a lot more context, a lot more knowledge, a lot more awareness. And frankly, LLMs are not there. Even some of the best top line ones, obviously I'm talking about GPTs, right? GPT-3 and GPT-4 Turbo. In the eyes of our YouTube transcription multi-agent system, we have this transcribed YouTube video. That's just going to be raw code. There's no reason to have an agent transcribe a video for you. Then we're going to read the transcription in each one of our prompts. And then we're going to create metadata from that, right? We're going to be creating thumbnails. We're going to be creating titles. We're going to be creating the description, right? And this falls in those two really great cases in our CRUD system that LLMs are really great at. You can always use this as a quick reference. When do I use an LLM? When do I use an AI agent? Am I creating? Am I reading? That should be the first thing you ask yourself. Am I creating? And am I reading? If you're updating and deleting, it's going to be a bit more more complex. There's going to be a bit more going on. LLMs are great at creating new information, creating new data, and they're great at reading existing data. So that's framework number one. A couple more useful tips. You want to be looking at lower mid-size stakes. You want to be looking at repetitive tasks, right? It's like every time you upload a video, every time you post a blog, every time you PR your code, whatever it might be, you know, these repetitive tasks can definitely be automated away via LLM technology. Why? Because they have clear inputs and outputs. So I hope that's sounding familiar and I hope that rings a little bell here to something we're going to be talking about in just a second. Next, when do you use an LLM? When you understand the problem well. I've talked about this before in the 2024 predictions video. I think the biggest trap for newbies and people stepping into new domains with the help of GPTs and chat GPT is that they don't actually know what they're looking for. And how can you create a solution when you don't know the problem well, right? There's an inconsistency there. So you want to understand the problem well. If you don't understand the problem well, you shouldn't be asking someone or something, right? The LLM, the agents to solve it for you because you won't even know how to prompt. You won't know how to ask the question right. You won't know how to direct your agent to solve the problem for you. You should probably just code it yourself and do it manually so you can better understand the problem. And then maybe after that, turn to an LLM to automate it. Use AI agents to solve problems you understand well, fast. If you're enjoying this so far, if this makes sense so far, definitely hit the like, hit the sub. It helps other creators, builders, and engineers just like you find this content, get value out of it so that they can build their next thing. Definitely takes some time for me to formulate all these ideas to turn it into content concrete content that you can consume quickly and move on with your day. So let's move on to one of the key core principles we discussed in the beginning. Everything is a function. Let's break this down. This is a really deep state idea in engineering. Once you hear it, once you understand it, it kind of changes the way that you think about software. LLMs take in prompts and return responses, right? Scripts take in CLI arguments and produce outputs, right? APIs take in parameters and return data. You have function parameters and you have function return values, right? You have your params and you have your return. You can see where this is going, right? All code is effectively a pipeline of functions that take in inputs and produce outputs, okay? Let's just like really try to dig into this idea. Let's try to internalize this idea. Once you understand this, you can design and engineer better tools and applications much faster, much better. You can understand where things might go wrong. Everything is a function. Let's keep digging into this, right? Every problem can be broken down into a series of functions with discrete inputs and outputs that can be tested and chained together. These chains you build make up the solution to your problem. So if you wanna build great solutions, you need to understand and properly design your inputs and outputs of the functions you're using and chaining together. Here's the big kicker. LLMs are just another function in your pipeline. LLMs are just another piece in your solution. If you design their input well, you will get a great output. 
right? Let's look at a concise example through the eyes of our YouTube metadata generator system. The top level problem can be defined as this function. The input is a video, right? A path to a video. I'll have a fully rendered video into a directory or my desktop, wherever it might be. It's going to return metadata. So all we have in this function is whatever steps you need to take to, you know, use your LLMs to generate the metadata, given the video, right? Just like in principle one, use the right tool for the job. How do you find the tool? You take your problem and you break it down. And then you say, how can I fix this one tiny thing? Let's break it down. Now we have a transcribe function. And so what this does is important, but What's more important is the input and the output. So we have transcribe, so we'll transcribe the video, we'll get a string, and then once we have our transcription, we'll be able to generate the description, right? So then that returns a string, right? Maybe we pass in the title, maybe we have that available. And what does that do? Now we can, given the description, and we probably wanna pass the title in here as well, right? But given this additional information, we can now chain that together and generate our image. Generate thumbnail, we'll take a description, probably a title as well, and now it'll generate an image. Okay, so think about your LLMs as you would any function. You can test them, you can chain them, you can break them down into smaller functions. Most importantly, you can design them to take in specific inputs and produce specific outputs to solve your problem. Why? Because everything is a function. Functions have parameters, they take inputs, and functions have return values. They produce outputs. Principle three, great questions yield great results. As you're building out your multi-agent systems and your agentic applications and even just your raw software, just keep asking good questions, even if they seem dumb, right? What am I trying to solve? What is the right way to use this tool? What is the right prompt? What's the best way to do this? And every question you come up with, just throw your best guess answer at it. A lot of engineering and product building is, you know, there are lots of solved problems, but eventually, and this is where things get interesting, you're gonna run into something that you just aren't sure about. And that's when it's really important to formulate a good question so that you can create a great result from that, right? Or at least a result that you can iterate with. So, you know, how will you know when your problem's solved? What happens if something goes wrong? Do you have good failure mechanisms? And how do you monitor the solution, right? If you're building out these agentic applications, you're gonna to wanna to know and define questions like this. For our multi-agent YouTube metadata generator, we know when the problem's solved when we can you know, type in our CLI app or whatever the application is. On the other end of it, we get a title, we get an image, and we get a completed description, right? That's how we know when it's complete. You wanna be creating answers to your questions because that will give you solid results. So, you know, with these principles, you can take your principles, apply them, create a proof of concept, and then after that, create a production. And that's exactly how we're going to formulate these three videos. This video is all about the principles we're gonna to use to build our multi-agent system. In the next video, we're going to show off the proof of concept, and then we're going to productionize it. We're gonna share it with the world. You'll be able to download this, you'll be able to use it, just to even test it out, right? Even if you don't generate YouTube content, you'll be able to look at the code and check this out. So with these principles, we can start moving forward, right? No plan is perfect because there's bound to be unknown challenges that arrive during development, but those who plan the future tend to create it. And then once you have that, you can create your first version, right? Principles allow you to get to your first version with the fundamental truth of what you're trying to build, right? What's the problem you're really trying to solve? How can you use LLMs to help you get to that point? Keep your principles close throughout development, especially in that first version. Once you have your first version, you can iterate to success. You'll be able to unlock the awesome value that LLMs are giving us. Your principles really give you a tool set to build the first version, right? So, you know, on the channel, we're gonna build out this multi-agent YouTube metadata generator. In the next video, we're gonna show off V1. We're gonna break down how we utilize these principles. And then we're gonna get a full productionized version out. We're gonna talk about the good, the bad. We're gonna, you know, use this channel. We're gonna use these videos as a learning grounds for building out this great technology. I'm really excited to put a lot of the things I'm learning right now from building Talk to Your Database. I'm actively working on that. We have new features coming every single week. I'm really excited to ship those for everyone writing SQL that wants to save a bunch of time. But we're taking that. We're taking all these ideas. We're pushing them further here. We're going to automate YouTube metadata generation. We're going to do that by building a really cool CLI application that does it all for us. Thanks for watching. Stay focused, keep building, and I'll see you in the next one with a proof of concept.